Hi! Hey guys, it's John here from Phone Dog, and welcome to Weekly Bone, a little show here on Phone Dog where I round up news reported by our awesome Phone Dog crew. Uh, the week's been a little bit slow, but I'm gonna try to make it fun for you guys. So let's get started. The HCC Evo 4G is finally getting Android 2.2 tomorrow. Yes, August 3rd. After a bunch of rumors and people complaining, hey, I want to throw you on my Evo, the Humongo Android phone on Sprint is finally getting Android 2.2. The update will include new widgets, revamped application interfaces, and much more stuff. Oh yeah, and the 720p video camera will be enhanced as well. Thank goodness. Evo owners will receive a notification when the update is ready, and all you gotta do is hit download and you're good to go. Convenience! Another device is getting Android 2.2, the Motorola Droid. Yes, the original Droid, not the Droid Incredible or the Droid X. Funny how Android works, isn't it? This update should be coming around sometime this week. Hopefully. Stay tuned for that. The Blackberry Bold 9780 is spotted once again on video. Gasp! Let's try to watch it. Video removed due to terms of use violation. Ah, poopsicles! Research in Motion doesn't like it when people make and upload videos featuring their unreleased phones, but it really shouldn't matter because all their phones look alike. Like this one, for example. The Blackberry Curve 9300. It looks like the 8520, but it's meant to replace the 8900. Oh yes, oh yes, a bunch of Blackberry model numbers. And this berry will become Coming to T-Mobile sometime this month. Speaking of phones that kind of look the same, check out the MyTouch 3G HD. There's no real information about this phone yet, but since the term HD is in the name, it's pretty safe to say that the display will look rather pretty. On to reviews and first impressions. Aaron shares his first impressions with the Sony Ericsson X10 Mini. The X10 Mini is pretty much the mini-me of the original Xperia X10. That was really hard to say. It's got all the fancy features including Android, but with a downgraded camera, a smaller battery, and of course a smaller screen, which would mean typing will be very, very difficult. Not to mention unfun. Dang, this phone is so small. I am not having fun. Aaron also provides his impression for the Samsung Captivate, the Galaxy S phone on AT&T. It's got a one gigahertz Samsung Hummingbird processor, a four inch Super AMOLED display, very nice, very nice, and a five megapixel camera. On top of that, Aaron does a two part review for the Samsung Vibrant, T-Mobile's variant for the European Galaxy S. It has almost identical specs as the Captivate, except it includes Avatar the movie. Info! You know that really famous movie where it's sort of like Pocahontas, but it's filled with blue people? And people go crazy about the visual effects and all that versus the storyline. Well, you can now experience that in the palm of your hands with the Vibrant. Anywho, Aaron, any final thoughts? Cat. I'm gonna mix it up like that because I can. Yes, you can. You is on fire with your reviews. If you wanna check out a written review filled with fancy pictures and words, make sure you check out the one written by Noah. Everybody loves Noah. Moving on, you should check this out. There's a product called Intenaid, which both pokes fun at the iPhone 4's reception issue and fixes it. It's pretty much a vinyl sticker with a band-aid design printed on it, and it sells as a six pack for $5. Pretty much 85 cents per band-aid sticker thingy. Yes, that was really fast math. Even though when I get my iPhone 4, I would probably never ever use this product. Although I think it's quite genius. If you like it, then you should have put a band-aid on it. Yes, Beyonce reference right there. What you gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, don't forget to check out our one pod band-aid game where you can win free phones. Right now, we're giving away a Microsoft Kin 2. All you gotta do is spin for your chance to win. Best of all, it's free. If you want to discuss any of these stuff we've covered today, or if you just want to talk about the blue people and avatar, check out our phone dog forums. For the latest Android coverage, check out droiddog.com, and for the latest iPhone coverage, todaysiphone.com. Speaking of which, make sure you check out Jake. He does a news roundup for today's iPhone, similar to the Weekly Bone episodes found on Phone Dog. This was John from Phone Dog, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <clears throat> video. Video. Latest.